Hi, my name is Keith Wunderlich. I'm superintendent of the Waterford School District. And this video is part of our Waterford Reads initiative. Reading is so important. It underlies all of the important topics in education and even mathematics, social studies, science. Reading is within everything that we do. And we want to help you help your child become a proficient reader at home. This video will help you with some of those strategies and tell you what reading at home might look like and sound like. Let's take a look. We want to talk about something we all love. Reading books and how we can make that a more exciting and engaging experience for kids. Reading to your kids is the simplest, most effective way to prepare them to be successful in school and later in life. Rumbling, roaring, dragons snoring, bumping, thumping, giants jumping, booming, banging, cymbals clanging. What is it? No, the garbage trucks are here today. Anytime you can reach your child is the right time. Ruby found the other ducklings at the far side of the reed beds. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca ran straight up the grassy bank. But once more, Ruby stopped to look around. She saw the dragonflies that wave along the waterline and the willow tree that bent across the bank. And she saw the big black storm cloud that was sweeping across the sky. Look! Ruby. But the others did not stop. This way, Ruby, they called. Your kids are going to pick books that look interesting to them. In fact, when you let them make the decision, the book means a whole lot more to them. One of the most important things we can do when reading a story is commit to it. It means making the silly voices, singing the silly songs, getting up and dancing if there's dancing in the book. All of that will show your enthusiasm for the story. They could not see the elephant now, but they could hear him crying. Mm -hmm. Oh, they felt sad. Very well, said Grandma. You may come in. The elephant was as happy as could be. <laughs> Look at him rolling in the snow. It's like all the way to the door. How is he going to get in there? <laughs> and when your kid sees that reading is fun and exciting, they are going to want to read more. Peter asked, what are you doing? I told him, I'm a flower girl. Wow, said Peter. Can I be a flower boy? I want to be a tiger lily because it sounds ferocious. I am a fragrant rose, I said, squirting mommy's perfume all over me. Ugh. Mama, look at that. That would like be too pizza. much. <laughs> it does look like pizza. Would you like it? If you have all that perfume? Ask questions. When you ask a child a question, they go from being a passive listener to an active participant in the story. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in the tree. Hi, Gus, said the squirrel client. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. How is the platypus feeling right now? Sad. Why is he feeling sad? Because he can't climb trees, he can only swim. Oh, you know something about platypuses? You know they can swim? It was all good until Jeremy Ross moved into the neighborhood right next door to my best friend Stanley. I didn't like Jeremy Ross. He laughed at me when he struck me out in a baseball game. He had a party on his trampoline and I wasn't invited, but my best friend Stanley was. Do you ever have any moments where maybe a friend is stolen away? So, yeah, so that's rough, that's rough. Whenever you can, act out the story and have fun with it. Point out the words and things in the pictures. That is the first step to being a reader. When you hand your child a book, you're giving them adventure, excitement, values, and a head start. Books really do have everything. We hope you enjoyed this video showing some reading strategies that you can use with your children at home. And remember, the best thing that you can do is just be excited about reading. Have fun. Make all the voices. Make the funny faces. Act out the story. Enjoy being part of that story. And if your children are laughing and giggling while you're reading, that's a good thing. We want them to enjoy reading. We want you to enjoy reading and instill that love of reading in everything that you do. Thanks for joining us.